Hello and welcome to the third part in the AWS S3 command line interface course from How to Code Well. My name is Peter Fisher and today what we're going to be focusing on is how to upload directories full of contents into our S3 buckets. Now please remember that S3 is object storage so it's not going to be treated the same as say your Linux or your Mac or your Windows file system. We're actually creating objects in the S3 object storage. And as I've mentioned before, please do check the show notes below because they'll have links to the commands and an explanation as to what those commands do that we're using in today's tutorial. So what we're going to do is upload the directory that we are using. And if I was to do an LS here, this is the local system that we're on. We can see that we have an assets directory. Let's go and have a look at what's in that directory. So LS of assets. And in here, we should see that we have the temp.log file. That is the file that we're playing with in the previous tutorial. Let's go and upload the whole thing now to the S3 bucket. Let's do an AWS S3. Let's do an LS to list the bucket that we've, we're going to play with. And in this case, it's the how to code well hyphen test bucket. Okay, let's go and take a look and see what's already in that bucket. Let's do um, LS and this time we're going to do S3 colon uh, forward slash forward slash and I'm just going to copy that bucket name, paste that in like so and we should see a complete blank prompt because we haven't got anything in there at the moment. So this is nice and clean. Okay, so we're going to use the CP command as we did before when we were copying files. However, we have to do something slightly different this time because we want to copy the whole directory. Let's just try and do a CP. So AWS S3 and then CP for copy the, the, uh, the, the destination or the source to the destination. So in this case, Assets is going to be our source and then the destination assets like so is the S3 bucket. Let's hit that and see what happens. So we have an upload failed issue. Parameter validation has been fa has failed. And it's because we're trying to upload a directory full of stuff to the S3 bucket. S the S3 command doesn't actually know what we wish to do with the contents of this folder. What we want to do ideally is copy the whole thing. And what we need to do therefore is supply an argument to this command. And that argument is recursive because what we want S the S3 command to do, the CP command to do is we it wants to go through the folder locally and copy not only the folder, but also the contents of that folder too. So this would also include if you had a folder within a folder within a folder, they would all go up as well. So let's go and play with that. Let's do an AWS S3 and it's CP. That is the command that we wish to use. Again, we're going to do the source, which in this case is assets. And we're going to do the destination, which is the S3 colon and then the forward slash forward slash the bucket name. But this time we're going to supply the recursive argument. Now the argument here is in double dashes. So dash dash and then recursive. Uh, so recursive like so. Press enter here and what it's going to do is it's going to upload the contents of the of the assets directory into S3 bucket. Now notice here, what we've done is we've copied the contents of the assets directory straight directly into that bucket. So here we have assets forward slash temp.log and here we have how to code well forward slash test forward slash temp.log. So let's do an AWS S3 LS of the bucket and actually see that that's gone through and it has. But what do we need to do if we want to copy the folder as well? So the actual asset folder too. So what we would like to do is have how to code well forward slash test 
forward slash assets and then forward slash temp dot log. Well, what we need to do is just tweak the way we go and copy the source to the destination. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this object from the object storage. So let's just do AWS S3 RM for remove. And I'm just going to copy the whole thing, the bucket name and the actual uh, path to that object that we've pushed. So that's going to remove that. And again, if I was to just LS that, we should see that it's completely empty. What we need to do to actually push up that assets directory is we need to copy the actual directory to it. So in this case, it's forward slash assets. So assets like so, because what we're doing here is we're saying copy the assets directory into the an assets object within the how to code well bucket. Now what that's going to do is it's going to copy that as well as the contents of that assets folder too. Let's press enter here. And what it's going to do is it's going to upload assets forward slash temp dot log to how to code well hyphen test forward slash assets forward slash temp dot log. So now we can actually synchronize, if we will, the directories between our object storage and the local system. And we're going to be talking about the synchronize command later on in this course where you can actually synchronize both your local storage to your object storage. Let's just go and double check that that is in. Let's do an AWS S3 LS. Just going to copy that command like so. And yes, we can see that we have a directory here pre and then assets forward slash. Let's just press up on here and then type assets. Now we can actually traverse that contents. And if I was to put a forward slash on here, sorry, then we should be able to see the contents of that. Now notice that we didn't have a forward slash after assets in this command. And that returned just assets. It didn't actually return the contents of assets. Whereas here, what we've done is we've added a forward slash and therefore we've gone inside the assets object and we can actually discover the objects within that, which in this case has temp.log. So that's how you go about uploading contents of a directory into object storage into S3. In the next tutorial, we're going to be focusing on how we can actually filter through the files that we wish to include or exclude from the object storage. So when you go ahead and do a CP or an LS, you might only be after certain files, maybe with certain file extensions. So that is what we're going to be focusing on in the next tutorial. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. If you've got any questions, let me know. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye.